Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I sang as Zell in Slayers. Uh, yeah, yeah, I sang, I sang once as, as Zell in Slayers. I sang as Captain Tyler uh, in the TV series of Captain Tyler, although he's not a very good singer, so uh, I had to sing sort of badly. Um, and I don't know if I've sung any other for any other character, because I don't... It's sort of hard, because you have to translate the words, and that means that they have to give us... Many times, when we get the, when we get the show, we get the dialogue is on one track, and the music and effects are on another track, but sometimes the songs are considered music and effects because they're recorded separately from the acting session, so the singer will be on the music and effects track and you can't separate it out. Sometimes you can, So, uh, but I haven't had that many singing characters, probably because I play all the dark brooding characters, and so they sort of go, Saya. And then they don't say much, you know? They don't, or Sasuke. And, and it's sort of over. And I'd be happy to sing. Um, uh, I, I have no problem with that, but it just doesn't, there isn't a lot of, there isn't a lot, there aren't a lot of singing. Where's the next musical anime? That's what I want to know. Where is that? No idea. No idea. Anything else? Stunned silence. Yes. They're, they're stealing all the questions, you realize. You guys, yeah. I know. Step up, back row. Yeah. She likes R.E. Thank you. Um, she wants to know what my favorite scene is from, from Haruhi. My favorite episode is the, the video game episode where they're playing the space battle on the video. Oh, oh that slayed me. Because I'm always... Uh, I don't play a lot of video games because I'm very selective because I don't have that much time. But when I find a video game I like, I sort of latch onto it and never let go. And so I love StarCraft, and uh, I, I love Diablo 2, and you know, and uh, and so there's certain games that I, I like. I like playing on my Mac, and my brother is more of a console junkie. He doesn't do well with a keyboard. He likes to have a controller, um, and I'm not really a console junkie guy. Also, he's like unconscious when it comes to first-person shooters. Like there's even no point in playing it in Halo because. You, you turn a corner and you're dead. You respawn and you're dead. And you're like, this isn't a game. This is fish in a barrel, dude. Um, and also because he can see you on the screen. Like, he can see your screen when you're playing on a console. But on a computer, you can't, right? And so I like that. I like that I get my screen. I'm also, I like to have like a big screen so I can see what the hell is going on. Because when I have to play in a quarter of the screen and play Halo, it's forget it. I can't see anything. I can never get him to play StarCraft or Diablo 2 with me because he won't play on the console game. So to have an episode where like everyone's got their own little computer and they've all got their own little warships and they're I'm like, oh, this is fantastic. And also because I, I, I think that Yuki is sort of the cutie in the bunch. And so the fact that that's sort of her episode to shine, I was like, oh, this is a great episode. So yeah, that's it. the video game episode, episode is, is my favorite. Anything else? Um, I'm wondering if there's any uh, countries in the world you haven't had a chance to visit yet that you'd like to? Are there any countries in the world I haven't had a chance to visit yet that I'd like to? Um, yes. I haven't visited Greece. I would like to go to Greece. I would like to go to Scandinavia. I haven't really been to like Norway and, and uh, the fjords and like Denmark and Sweden area. Um, that'd be a lot of fun. I haven't really been to like Belgium and Luxembourg that always sort of look like gingerbread houses. I think that would be fun. Um, I haven't been to Spain or Portugal. But I'm not sure that's high on my list for some reason. I don't know why. Um, it'd be cool, but I, uh, I can wait. Um, but most other most other big countries I think, I think I've been to. I'd like to see more of Japan. Uh, I haven't really gotten that far outside of Tokyo. The farthest I've gotten outside of Tokyo is Kamakura. And I love Kamakura, it's gorgeous, but I want to go to Kyoto, and I actually want to go to Hokkaido. I want to go up north and, and, and see the island up there. That looks like fun. I want to go skiing in Japan. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, but that's... I've been very lucky in that when I was a kid, my parents 
did travel internationally a lot and took me around, like insisted that the kids come with. And so as a child, I really sort of got to travel to a lot of different countries. My family used to actually smuggle artwork out of Czechoslovakia during the, during the Soviet occupation. Uh, my, my, it's sort of funny. My father went over um, during the Prague Spring. There, there was an episode in Czechoslovakian history where there was a man by the name of Dubček, who was the prime minister, premier, who um, basically tried to pull a Gorbachev. He tried to make it more open, and they called it the Prague Spring. Uh, the Soviets didn't appreciate that, and so they invaded and took over the country. Um, and uh, it was during that time, actually, that my father visited and made friends with a lot of artists in Prague. And one of them was actually in the States with us when the Soviets invaded. And my father had to wake him up and say, very sorry, Yoshi, but your country had been invaded by the Russians. Um, and so he had to go back and got tra trapped there. So we set up a sort of smuggling ring where we would go over as a family trip and we would buy their artwork for hard currency and smuggle it out for them because they were all abstract painters and sculptors and the Soviet regime would not support abstract paint, uh, art they would only support socialist realism so these guys were basically out of work um, and so we would buy their artwork for hard currency and then smuggle it back to the states and sell it for them and actually much of the Czech artwork in the Chicago Art Institute um, is donated from my father um, so as a kid I was being sort of dragged off to you know, Eastern Europe behind the Iron Curtain um, and, and getting used to dealing with that sort of Soviet oppression. And I remember when I was like 12 years old, I turned to my, my parents and said, Mom, Dad, how come none of the grown-ups smile? It was, it, was pretty, it was pretty dark. I freaked out a, a taxi cab driver in Prague because I, I, get, I went there after the Prague Spring, when, when, uh, I mean, after the Velvet Revolution, when Havel took over in the 90s. And uh, they dropped me off on uh, Poryshka Street, and I looked up, and there used to be across the Vlatava River, there was this huge bust of Stalin. And of course, once the revolution, they took the, stop, the bus down. And I got out of the taxi, and I looked up, and it was gone. And I pointed, and I went, Stalin? And the cab driver freaked, because I was like 22 years old. Like, how the hell would I know that Stalin used to be on that hillside. He's like, yes, Stalin, <laughs> uh, drove away. But yeah, it was great. So we would, we would fly to Czechoslovakia and like leave with paintings and sculptures under our arms and sort of hit Europe on the way out. Um, and we did that a number of times. And so I, I, got to, I got to actually go to a lot of cool different countries. I really want to go to the Nürburgring. Do you know that? It's the, it's the racetrack in Germany that it's this ridiculously long racetrack that they can't use for racing because it's too long. And, but in the middle of it is a castle. So literally you have this, this racetrack that goes around this mountain and on the top of the mountain is a castle and it's just fantastic. Um, so, and you can, you can just go and it's like a, a, like a toll road. You just get in line, you pay your toll, and then you get to race around the track. And go as fast as you want. And, you know, get passed by Ferraris, Lamborghinis, but you know, whatever car you saw, I want to go like rent some supercars and go race around the Nürburgring in Germany, that would be fun. I'm fine, fine. No, great.